The Armana Letters, circa 1350 to 1330 BC. Letters from the Great Kings. Letter from Kadashman and Lil the First, King of Babylon, to Amenhotep the Third. Kadashman and Lil of Babylon to Amenhotep of Egypt. How is it possible that, having written to you, in order to ask for the hand of your daughter, O my brother, you should have written me using such language, telling me that you will not give her to me, as since earliest times no daughter of the king of Egypt has ever been given in marriage. Why are you telling me such things? You are the king. You may do as you wish. If you wanted to give me your daughter in marriage, who could say you nay? But you, keeping to your principle of not sending anybody, have not sent me a wife. Have you not been looking for a fraternal and amicable relationship when you suggested to me, in writing, a marriage in order to make us become closer? Why hasn't my brother sent me a wife? It is possible for you not to send me a wife, but how could I refuse you a wife and not send her to you as you did? I have daughters, I will not refuse you in any way concerning this. As to the gold about which I wrote you, Send me now quickly during the summer, Lacuna. Before your messenger reach me, gold in abundance, as much is as available. I could thus achieve the task I have undertaken. If you send me this summer, Lacuna, the gold concerning which I have written you, I shall give you my daughter in marriage. Therefore send gold willingly, as much as you please. But if you do not send me gold, Lacuna, so I can achieve the task I have undertaken, why haven't you sent me any earlier willingly? After I have finished the task I have undertaken, why would I wish for gold? Even if you sent me three thousand talents of gold, I would not accept them. I would return them and would not give you my daughter in marriage. Berna Buriash to Akhenaten, complaining about the treatment of his merchants. To Nafkororia, king of Egypt, my brother, to say, Thus speaks Berneburiash, king of Babylon, your brother. I am well. To your country, your house, your women, your sons, your ministers, your horses, your chariots, many greetings. I and my brother have signed a treaty, and I spoke thus. Like our fathers, who are friends, we will be friends. And now my merchants who travelled with Ahatabu, delayed in Canaan for business. After Ahatabu, set out on his way to my brother, and in the town of Hanantun, which is in Canaan, Shumda, son of Baluma, and Shutana, son of Shatam from Akko, sent their men there. They beat my merchants and stole their money. Ahutabu, whom I sent to you, is before you. Ask him, and he will tell you. Canaan is your country, and its kings are your slaves. In your country I was robbed. Bind them and return the money they robbed. And the men who murdered my slaves, kill them and avenge their blood. Because if you do not kill these men, they will again murder my caravans, and even my ambassadors, and the ambassadors between us will cease. If this should happen, the people of the land will leave you. Berna Buriash, trying to get more gold from Akhenaten. To Navkararia, great king, king of Egypt, Thus speaks Berneburiash, great king, king of Karaduniash, your brother. I and my house, my horses and my chariots, my notables and my lands, we are well. May well-being reign over my brother and his house, his horses and his cars, his notables and his lands. From the day on which the envoy of my brother arrived before me, my body has not been well, and his envoy has never eaten or drunk before me. See, if you question your envoy, he cannot tell you that my body is not well, and, Lacuna, and as my body is not well, and my brother, Lacuna. I vented my anger with my brother with the following words. Should my brother not know I am ill? Why has he not supported my head? Why has he not worried and sent his messengers? The envoy of my brother has spoken thus. The way is not short so that your brother can find out and send you greetings. The passage is long to your brother. 
who can inform him, so that he sends a greeting to you quickly. He next spoke thus, Question your messenger, if the passage is not too long. Lacuna. As I asked my messenger, and he said that the way was long, no longer make I, my brother, the object of my anger. As one has said that in the land of my brother there is everything, and that my brother lacks nothing, of everything there is also in my land, and I lack nothing. For a long time we have had good relations between us kings, and we exchange greetings. These relations between us must remain. Only four mines of beautiful lapis lazuli have I sent to my brother as a gift, and also five teams of horses. When the times are good, I will send with my future messengers many beautiful gifts, and anything that my brother wishes, he can write. I have started an undertaking, and for this reason I write to my brother. My brother should send me much gold that I need for my work, but the gold that my brother sends me, do not leave it to some official. Let the eyes of my brother inspect it, and let my brother seal it and send it, because as far as the previous gold is concerned, which my brother did not inspect personally, but which was sealed and sent by an official of my brother, of the forty mines which I put in the furnace, there was barely anything of value left. And with regards to Salmu, my envoy, twice has his caravan been plundered. Once it was plundered by the Birizama, and his other caravan by Pamahu, a governor of a land that belongs to you. And this matter, my brother, you must put right. When my envoy appears before my brother, then let also appear Salmu. His lacuna has to be returned to him, and the damages have to be made good. Bernaburiash, asking for more gold. To Nafkaruria, king of Egypt, thus speaks Bernaburiash, king of Carduniash, your brother. I am well. May the well-being reign over you, your house, your women, your children, your land, your great ones, your horses, your chariots. When my father and your father had dealings and good friendship, they sent each other beautiful presents, and nothing they refused. Now my brother has sent me only two mines of gold, but this is a very small amount. Send then as much as your father did, and if you have little gold, send half of what your father sent. Why have you only sent me two mines of gold? My work in the houses of the gods is abundant, and now I have begun an undertaking. Send much gold, and you, whatever you do need from my land, write and it will be sent to you. At the time of Kurigalzu, my father, the Kenai went to him with the following terms. The borders of the country, Lacuna, we want to pass on to the other side and join you. My father gave them the following answer. Forget the idea of dealing with me. I will not declare myself against my brother, the king of Egypt, nor will I treat with someone else. Should I not rather plunder you? He is my ally. My father committed no acts against your father. Now, with respect to this, the Assyrians, vassals of mine, I have not sent to you, as they claim. Why have they been received in your land? If I am dear to you, do not let them conclude any business. May they return here with empty hands. As a gift, I send you three mines of beautiful lapis lazuli and five teams of horses for five wooden chariots. A letter from a princess. Tell my lord, thus speaks the daughter of the king, to you your chariots, to the men of your house, greetings. May the gods of Bernaburiash go with you. Go in peace and return in peace to your house. I prostrate myself in the presence of my lord, saying, by the journey of my messenger I send dyes or pigments. Greetings to your house and your city. May there be no anger in your heart, or it will cause me ill. Your servant, Kidinadad, prostrates himself. I shall go in the place of my lord. Letters from the king of Alashaya. Speak to the king of Egypt, my brother. Thus says the king of Alashaya, your brother. All goes well with me, with my houses, my wife, my sons, my chief men, my horses, my chariots, and in my lands. It is well. And with my brother, may it be well. 
with your houses, your wives, your sons, your chief men, your horses, your chariots, and in your lands, may it be very well. My brother, behold, my messenger I have sent with your messenger to you to Egypt. Now I have sent five hundred talents of copper to you. I have sent it to you as a gift. For my brother, do not let my brother be concerned that the amount of copper is too little. For in my land the hand of Nogal, my lord, has killed all the men of my land, so there is not a single copper worker. Therefore do not let my brother be concerned. Send your messenger along with my messenger quickly, and all the copper that you desire I will send you, my brother. You are my brother. You should send me silver, my brother, a great quantity. Give me the best silver, then I will send you, my brother, all that you, my brother, request. Furthermore, my brother, the ox my messenger requested gave to me, my brother, and sweet oil my brother sent to me, my brother, two containers, and send me a specialist in eagle omens. Furthermore, my brother, the people of my land speak to me about the lumber that the king of Egypt receives from me. So, my brother, make the payment to me. Furthermore, a man of Alashiah died in Egypt, and his possessions are in your land, but his wife and son are with me. Let my brother, therefore, attend to the affairs of the man of Alashiah, and give it into the hand of my messenger, my brother. Do not be concerned, my brother, that your messenger has remained three years in my land, for the hand of Nogal is upon my land and upon my house. My wife bore a son, who is now dead, my brother. Send your messenger with my messenger very promptly, then a gift for my brother I will send you. Furthermore, my brother, the silver for which I asked you, let my brother send in great quantity. And, my brother, the gifts for which I asked you, send and all my desires let my brother fulfil, and whatever desires you mention to me I will do. With the king of Hatti and the king of Shanha, you have not been placed on the same level. As for me, whatever presents my brother has sent to me, I have returned to you double. Your messenger has come to me promptly, and my messenger shall come to you promptly. Say to the king of Egypt, my brother, message of the king of Alashiah, your brother. For me all goes well, and for you may all go well. For your household, your chief wives, your sons, your horses, your chariots, among your numerous troops in your country, among your magnates, may all go very well. Why, my brother, did you say such a thing to me? Does my brother not know this? As far as I am concerned, I have done nothing of the sort. Indeed, the men of Luki, year by year, seize villages in my own country. My brother, you say to me, men from your country were with them. My brother, I myself do not know that they were with them. If men from my country were with them, send them back, and I will act as I see fit. You yourself do not know men from my country. They would not do such a thing. But if men from my country did do this, then you yourself do as you see fit. Now, my brother, since you have not sent back my messenger, for this tablet, it is the king's brother as a messenger. Let him write. Your messengers must tell me what I am to do. Furthermore, which ancestors of yours did such a thing to my ancestors? So no, my brother, do not be concerned. Letter from Tushrata, king of Mitanni. To Nibmauria, king of Egypt, my brother, say, Thus says Tushrata, king of Mitanni, your brother. It is well with me, may it be well with you. With Kelu Heba, my sister, may it be well. With your household, your wives, your sons, your nobles, your warriors, your horses, your chariots, and throughout your land, may it be well. When I sat upon my father's throne, I was still young, and too he did evil to my land, and he killed his lord, and therefore he did not treat me well, nor the one who was on friendly terms with me. I, however, especially because of those evils, which were perpetrated on my land, made no delay, but the murderers of Artashemura, my brother, along with all that they had, I killed. Because you were friendly with my father, 
For this reason I sent and spoke to you, so that my brother might hear of this deed and rejoice. My father loved you, and you loved my father still more. And my father, because of his love, has given my sister to you, and who else stood with my father as you did? The very next year, moreover, my brothers, Lacuna, the whole land of Hati, as the enemy came into my land, Teshub, my lord, gave him into my hand, and I destroyed him, and not one of them returned to his own land. Behold, one chariot, two horses, one male servant, one female servant, out of the booty of the land of Hatti I have sent you, and as a gift for my brother, five chariots and five teams of horses I have sent you, and as a gift for Kalu Haber, my sister, one set of gold pins, one set of earrings, one gold idol, and one container of sweet oil I have sent her. Behold Kelia, my Sukal, along with Tunip Ibri I have sent. May my brother quickly dispatch them, so that they may quickly bring back word, that I may hear my brother's greeting and rejoice. May my brother seek friendship with me, and my brother send his messengers, so that they may bring my brother's greeting, and I may receive them. Tushrata loaning a statue of the goddess Ishtar to Amenhotep III. To Nimuaria, king of Egypt, my brother whom I love, and who loves me. Thus speaks Tushrata, king of Mitanni, who loves you, your father-in-law. For me, everything is well. May everything be well for you, for your house, for Tadu Hebda, my daughter, your wife whom you love. May everything be well for your wives, your sons, your noblemen, your chariots, your horses, your soldiers, your country, and everything belonging to you. May everything be well, very well. Thus speaks Shaushka of Nineveh, lady of all the lands. I wish to go to Egypt, a land I love, and then return from there. Now I am sending you this letter, and she is on the way, Lacuna. Then in times of my father, she was in that country, and just as on other occasions, she stayed there and was honoured. May my brother honour her now ten times more than the other time. May my brother honour her. May you let her leave when she pleases, so that she may return. May Shaushka, Lady of the Heavens, protect us, my brother and myself, one hundred thousand years. And may our Queen grant us both great joy, and we may treat each other as friends. Is it because Shaushka is my only mistress? Maybe she is also the mistress of my brother. Tushrata, sending a letter to Tiye. To Tiye, Lady of Egypt. Thus speaks Tushrata, King of Mitanni. Everything is well with me. May everything be well with you. May everything go well for your house, your son. May everything be perfectly well for your soldiers, and everything belonging to you. You are the one who knows that I have always felt friendship for Mimuria, your husband, and that Mimuria, your husband, on his part, always felt friendship for me. And the things that I wrote and told Mimaria, your husband, and the things that Mimaria, your husband, and on his part wrote and told me incessantly, were known to you, Kelaya and Maine. But it is you who knows better than anybody the things we have told each other. No one knows them better, Lacuna. You should continue sending joyful embassies, one after another, do not suppress them. I shall not forget the friendship with Mamoraya, your husband. At this moment and more than ever, I have ten times more friendship for your son, Napkuria. You are the one who knows the words of Mamoraya, your husband, but you have not sent me yet the gift of homage which Mamoraya, your husband, has ordered to be sent to me. I have asked Mamoraya, your husband, for massive gold statues, Lacuna. But your son has gold-plated statues of wood. As the gold is like the dust of the country of your son, why have there been the reason for such pain, that your son should not have given them to me? Lacuna. Neither has he given me what his father has been accustomed to give. Tushrata, wishing Akhenaten good health. To Nafkuria, king of Egypt, my brother, my son-in-law, who loves me, and whom I love. 
Thus speaks Tushrata, king of Mitanni, your father-in-law who loves you, your brother. I am well. May you be well too. Your houses, Tie, your mother, lady of Egypt, Tadu Hebda, my daughter, your wife, your other wives, your sons, your noblemen, your chariots, your horses, your soldiers, your country, and everything belonging to you. May they all enjoy excellent health. Asher Urbalit, exchanging gifts. To the king of the land of Egypt, speak. So says Asher Ubalit, the king of the land of Asher. To your house, your country, to your war territory, and to your army, well-being. I have sent you my envoys to visit you and see your country. That my forefathers until now have not sent, I have sent you today. One fine chariot, two horses, and a jewel from a precious stone. A date-shaped bead from genuine lapis lazuli. As a good wish present, as I have directed unto you. My envoy, whom I have sent you, only to visit you. Do not hold him back. May he visit and leave. Your opinion and the situation of your country may he observe. Then he may leave. To Napkororia, great king, king of Egypt, my brother. Thus speaks Asher Ubalit, king of Assyria, great king, your brother. May well-being reign over you, your house and your land. I feel very pleased after having seen your envoy. This is felt in truth before me. I have sent you a beautiful royal chariot, two white horses, an unfurnished chariot, and a beautiful stone seal as gifts. Of the great king, Lacuna, it is said, the gold is in your land like the dust. Why is there, Lacuna, in your eyes? I have begun a new palace, and I want to have it ready soon. Send me as much gold as is required for its decoration, and for what is needed. When my father, Ashur Nadin Ahai, ordered his messengers to go to Egypt, they sent him twenty gold talents. And when the king of Kani Galbat sent his messengers to your father in Egypt, they sent twenty gold talents to him. See, to the king of Kalingalbat, I am Lukuna. But to me you have only sent a little gold, which is not sufficient, in spite of the goings and comings of my messenger. If it is your intention that a sincere friendship exist, send much gold, and you may send people on your part, and you will receive whatever you need. Our lands are far apart, which is why our envoys must travel wisely. Those who detained your envoy were the Sutu, his attackers. Dead will I be until I have sent people to take the Sutu attackers, Lacuna. They will not detain my envoy. Why do they have to remain in foreign lands, and die in foreign lands, the messengers? If they have passed in a foreign country a part of their time, and the king has taken advantage of it, they may then remain there and die. The king has certainly had a gain. But if he has not had any, why do the messengers we send have to die in a foreign country? The envoys are being attacked and die in a foreign land. Sapilio Liuma, king of Hatti, to Akhenaten, king of Egypt. The messages I sent to your father, and the wishes he expressed to me, will certainly be renewed between us. O king, I did not reject anything your father asked for, and your father never neglected none of the wishes I expressed, but granted me everything. Why have you, my brother, refused to send me what your father during his lifetime has sent me? Now, my brother, you have acceded to the throne of your father, and similarly, as your father and I have sent each other gifts of friendship, I wish good friendship to exist between you and me. I have expressed a wish to your father. We shall certainly make it come true between us. Do not refuse, my brother, what I wished to receive from your father. It concerns two statues of gold, one standing, the other sitting, two silver statues of women, a chunk of lapis lazuli, and some other thing. They are not gifts in the true sense of the word, but, rather, as in the majority of similar cases, objects of a commercial transaction. If my brother should decide to deliver these, may my brother deliver them. If my brother should not decide to deliver them, as soon as my chariots are ready to carry the cloth, I shall send it to my brother. 
What you, my brother, may want, write me, and I shall send it to my brother. Fragment of a letter from Sapiliu Liuma, king of Hatti, to Akhenaten, king of Egypt. And now, as to the tablet you have sent me, why have you put the name of my brother above my name? And who is it who troubles the good relations between us? Has such behaviour become custom? My brother, have you written to me thinking that we become allies? If you are my brother, why have you praised my name when I am no better thought of than a cadaver, Lacuna? But your name, Lacuna, I rub out, Lacuna.